FORMER FIREFIGHTER CHARGED. HE'S ACCUSED OF BEATING A MAN DURING A FIT OF RAGE OVER THE 4TH OF JULY WEEKEND. NEWS force JESSICA BRUNO HAS BEEN FOLLOWING THIS CASE AND SHE HAS NEW INFORMATION. It's been over three months now since we first requested body camera footage from the moments an Oklahoma City police officer responded to the scene. We're still waiting on that. But as you said, charges have now been filed and the victim tells me he's relieved. So I started feeling my face and uh, when I reached up here, I felt bone. That was back on July 6th when News 4 first spoke with Chad Williamson following a brutal assault over the 4th of July holiday. Williamson asking a group of neighbors who were riding ATVs down his street late at night to keep it down. I'm told while I was unconscious, he was on top of me. He's talking about his alleged attacker, a Newcastle firefighter who has since retired, Max Philip Reinhardt. According to the police report, Reinhardt told officers he was about to be a retired firefighter and can't be fighting. Fast forward three months later, Reinhardt now facing an assault and battery charge. I am glad there are charges filed. I'm also frustrated it's not aggravated um, because, you know, in my wife's statement, uh, he was on top of me and struck me again after I was unconscious. News 4 has been trying to obtain a copy of the body camera footage from the scene since July 6th when we first spoke with Williamson, and we're still waiting. That's frustrating. I feel like he's getting off really easily. I called Reinhardt back in July. There's more to the story of uh, what took place. And again today. Hey, Max, this is Jessica Bruno with Channel 4. No, I have no comment. I am glad there are charges filed. Um, so I hope those those stick, and he'll he'll definitely be hearing from another attorney, um, you know, on the civil side of things. Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma News Four. We've checked back in with the Oklahoma City Police Department several times since July when we first requested that body camera video, and we were told once again today that they are working on it.